Yeah, Erica, we're in the town of Paragon. If you just take a look behind me, you're going to see some of the damage these storms did earlier today. Now, of course, residents are currently working to put things back together, but the fire chief says about two dozen homes saw some sort of damage, at least two dozen homes, because we saw many more driving in. Now, trees taking a toll and taking down several power lines, limbs falling onto houses and roadways as well. Some residents are currently without power tonight, and the chief tells us Duke Energy told him some owners may be without power for this weekend. We spoke with a few homeowners currently without power, but they are thankful their house was otherwise not hit. The wind started blowing. It was terrific. It was unbelievable. Things started turning over. It was, it was awesome. It really was. I had all the doors shut and it started shaking and I could hear it rubbing. I thought, well, I got to get out of here. So I run into the house. And of course, residents were out tonight helping one another move debris out of the way. But some roads are still not passable because of tree limbs in the way or perhaps flood waters. Of course, crews working to clean things up, but it's going to take some time. For right now, Melissa Mahadeo, RTV6 News.